nap time, which is good because we're going to hit the road in a minute and maybe she'll fall asleep in the car. Today is my day that I'm off from work and home with the baby. I get to be home with her once a week. Um, and today we're going to go visit my grandma, who hasn't gotten to see her very much lately. So um, we're going to go for a road trip. So I'm all packed up. The diaper bag is extra full today. I've got six diapers. That should be enough for most of a day. Uh, I've got my Moby Wrap, just in case. Uh, let's see, a change of clothes, just in case. I've got a sun hat in here, and a pair of socks, and a little burpee bib, and all the stuff all packed up. I made a packing list for myself uh, so that I wouldn't forget anything. It just makes me feel less stressed. And then sort of a timeline here. Mostly today I'm just going to be hanging out with Grandma and trying to film. I have reminders here to film a little bit of today's vlog. <laughs> So hopefully things don't fall out of frame. I can't really see my uh, phone screen because of my polarized lenses. Um, <laughs> my grandma moved to California just about a year ago. Um, she used to live in Arizona, but my uncle moved to Pennsylvania, and so she needed, she wanted to be closer to family, so she moved out here. Um, and I've only been to visit her at her place twice. Um, She's at a, you know, a home there. It's really nice. Um, man, okay, so the last time we visited her with Agnes, she was four weeks old, and we were driving down to a wedding, um, and so we figured we'd stop by and see Grandma on the way. We're like, okay, we'll leave an extra hour early so we can spend an hour with Grandma, right? Um, we get in the car, and Google Maps tells us it'll take 15 more minutes if we take the 5 instead of the 15. Um, if you're familiar at all with San Diego and Orange Counties and Camp Pendleton, um, you'll know why the five usually takes longer, right? Um, the 15 is 10 miles longer, but it's often, sometimes is a shorter drive. Um, and so in this case, it was like, it's gonna be 15 minutes longer. I was like, well, maybe, you know, we should take the 15. And he goes, ah, oh, no, it's only 15 minutes, it's fine. I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. Only 15 minutes more. Um, so we take the five and of course this is Agnes's first road trip and um, well that was the day because I hadn't been allowed to drive for two weeks and I had never driven with both of them in the car I had taken Agnes a couple places by myself but as a family Gino had always driven so um, I was like oh you, you want to turn in the back seat because it's so much fun to watch Agnes and she's just so cute and it's you know it's more fun to sit in the back seat with her than to sit in the front seat where you can't see her um so I, I offer this to him as like a fun little perk you want to sit in the back seat with Agnes and he goes sure but of course that day <laughs> Agnes did not enjoy the ride and we were stuck in somehow 15 minutes turned into an hour's worth of delay an hour's worth of traffic through Camp Pendleton, which is the um, Navy base, and you uh, you can't even, like there's no shoulder even on that part of the freeway. You're not allowed to stop at any time. So even if we had wanted to pull over and nurse her, we couldn't, but we didn't want to because we were running late for the wedding, much less to see grandma. It turned out we only had time to like stop in, say hi, we spent like 10 minutes there and then we turned around and left. <laughs> So yeah, we were stuck on uh, on the freeway for like an hour, and Agnes was just screaming her head off. And poor Gino, we finally like we had that explicit conversation, heart to heart. Like, I'm not judging you. You're not judging me. We're all just gonna be okay with the fact that you know maybe he's not magical and can't stop a baby crying. Uh, it was it was quite a trip. But then she slept the longest she had ever slept in her life. She slept from like 3 to, no, more like 12 to 4 or 5, and she was 4 weeks old at this point, only sleeping 2 or 3 hours. We, you know, if she had been at home, we probably would have woken her up to eat, but she just wiped herself out from all that screaming, poor thing. And that was the first time we visited Grandma. Now, hopefully today will not be as big of a problem. Um, she was hiccuping. I think she may have fallen asleep because she was sleepy, but she didn't want to cry at all. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a good trip. It's exciting. They're going to spend the whole day there. Apparently the food's really good and, uh, <laughs> everything.
everyone's really excited to see grandma so I will try to vlog a little bit more while we're there we are almost there it's been an uneventful trip the baby slept the entire way so hopefully she should be good and happy to wake up by the time we get there and see grandma um, yeah it's been uneventful trip a little longer than I was hoping because it's take a long way but uh, You like the pretty trees? Hi, Grandma! <laughs> That's right! A gugga boom! <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? strange lots of birds don't know why so these crows are creepy 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 I don't know like do crows migrate or are we living in a Hitchcock movie but uh, anyway if you know me if you're subscribed to my channel you'll have noticed by now I'm not very good at vlogs I think it's because uh, I, I tell instead of showing. Today, my excuse, which I think is an okay one, is that I was using my phone, uh, the white noise app, to help the baby nap. And so every time I wanted to film something, she was asleep. She did really well. Um, we had lunch, and I was going to film lunch because it was this delicious salad and burger. They do really good food there. Um, but she was asleep uh, and using the white noise machine. And then we went and we hung out in the bedroom, um, in my grandma's you know, little apartment, and she's being very sweet and giggly and funny, and um, oh my gosh, these birds! And so now we're on the way home. Uh, I'm going to film now while the, the sun is out, because it's going to start getting dark soon, but um, you know, just heading up to... Hopefully the trip up won't be as long, but I need to check Google Maps, I think. So I should probably stop filming. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, coming along on a little bit of today's adventure. It went really well. I only used two of her six diapers. Um, I knew I wouldn't need more than four, but yeah, she's, uh, she's really sweet. I, today I was learning or sort of appreciating how how much better my husband is at getting her to fall asleep than I am. It's his superpower that he can brute force her to sleep no matter what. Like, I swear even if she's not even tired, he can get her to fall asleep by just doing some sort of patting and holding voodoo. Um, me, I kind of tried that. It didn't really work. I think it's because I smell like food. Um, so I just had her in the stroller and I put the cover up so that she couldn't see. Um, put the white noise in there and let her suck on her thumb and eventually she passed out. Yeah. She was calm, at least. I don't think I could have done this trip a couple months ago. Well, like I said, we did do this trip a couple months ago and it didn't go well. But even like a month ago or a couple weeks ago, I think she may have been too worked up um, to, to nap or anything and then it would have been a nightmare of a day. But she had a really good fun time with meeting all the residents. Um, everybody, of course, loves a baby. And so I think we kind of made some people's days, and uh, my grandma was probably very excited to, uh, <laughs> to get to share Agnes with everybody. So hopefully Agnes is going to get a little bit more sleep on the way up, and uh, we've had a nice full day. And a really great way, I think, for me to spend my day off hanging out with grandma. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you didn't find this insufferably dull. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.